Hey everyone, I'm Crystal. This is for Fire Signs. We're going to find out what's coming in for you guys. What Spirit wants you to know. Wow, you got a lot of stuff. You have mending. So it's like Spirit's coming down and helping you heal. Helping you um, put things together. Helping you recoup after something. Okay. Um, you have change in the wind. Unfinished symphony. And then go the distance. So it's like you guys may have had like a change of mind. A change of heart here. Okay. Maybe there was something that was like unfinished. But I feel like you're about to um, unfinished symphony. And then right here this cheetah is about to hit the flag. So it's telling me something that was like taking forever or something that was like something's about to be over okay the fates and yin it's like because the reason why this is about to be over is because you have something else that's coming in and you need to clear out the space okay the yin is something that you've prayed and asked for your manifestations okay and it's the universe saying that you don't have to do anything else towards what it is that you want um, or towards what it is that you've been asking for. It's already in the works. This is fated for you. It's meant to happen. It's meant to be. Okay. So if there's something in your life that you think, no, this is too good to be true. I just seen one, one, one. It's definitely not too good to be true. Okay. Keep on moving forward. Of course, you're going to have to take some type of steps that you guys are being guided to take. Yes. It doesn't mean fall back and do nothing and sit on your couch all day. No, but it's like, you know, you guys can like rush to sure know that your um manifestations are being worked on behind the scenes okay i'm gonna pull some of my career cards you guys have entertainer okay so it's like your charm and influence will help you get ahead whatever it is that you guys are doing it's like your nature your personality the you know the way that you are and the way that you treat people your energy the aura that you have it stands out to other people and it helps you it's going to help you get so much further ahead it's like you know i feel like you're very unique and not many people come across people like you okay you have um you might be a musician a showgirl a showman man a dancer a host or any type of um job in entertainment you could be an actor an actress um a singer somebody who's like on a social media platform it's like you guys put your you know aries leo sagittarius fire sign so it's like you guys are very like fiery very passionate about what it is that you guys uh want to do and it's like maybe you guys are owners or leaders or something like that maybe an owner of your own business okay um your ego might be leading Okay, so on the card, it says your ego might be leading you to discredit the options or ideas of others. So maybe um, trying to listen to other people might be a good thing because you might be able to learn something. You know, that's just what the card says. It's not what I agree with. But if it resonates for you, then okay. But you have silence. Moving in silence while you continue to build. So whatever it is that you guys are doing, go. don't go and tell everybody what you're doing. Because sometimes people are not wanting the best for you honestly not everybody wants the best for you they could smile on your face and then you know talk shit behind your back right it's like and if you're telling somebody what it is that you're doing and they don't have such good intentions or they don't believe that you could do what it is that you're saying you're going to do they can negative think it they can speak badly upon it and their words can actually manifest into like reality so it's like keep your things to yourself also you know don't tell everybody what it is that you're trying to do, okay? Um, silence is the best way to increase your personal power, okay? Stick to yourself. If you have to stay alone and stay away from certain people, places, and things, then that's what you guys got to do in order to get yourself ahead. Whatever you guys are doing, this is meant for you. I feel like I'm here, and you're meant for big things. So, okay, so it says, um, the negative part of the card says, sharing too much too soon. Not everybody is honest and trustworthy. So don't go telling everybody what you're doing. You see what I'm saying? Like, um, keep it, keep it, keep it locked, keep your lips locked, and you have yes or no, still undecided, dealing with fluctuating goals and or income, it's important to stay informed on the shifts that are occurring, okay, so stay up to date with things, try not to fall back on things, um, you know, yes, yeah, surprise too, so there is a surprise coming in for you guys, and if you guys feel like you guys are making mistakes, remember mistakes can be blessings, okay, sometimes they're just something that we need to learn, so that way we know not to do that again, we can move on to the next okay um and everything is going to be revealed to you guys in time just let the plan unfold okay 
And you guys might be leaving things um, unplanned or leaving things like you'll you'll start doing things and then you'll move to the next thing and then you don't finish that. It's like um, make sure you guys are finishing what it is that you guys starting. OK, like um, if you have so many things in mind, make sure you guys are focused on one thing, get that done and then move on to the next rather than trying to do five things at once. If you put five hours into one thing, right? A day then you'll get that done a lot faster rather than like one hour for each five things so it's like yeah you got five hours of work done but you only got one hour of each done it's, it's gonna take you so much longer to get there so you know figure out your priorities tend to the ones that are most important the other ones that are irrelevant let them fall to the side for now it doesn't mean that they're going to be forgotten about but just you know work on the things that are going to get you places for now um you have the seven of cups you have a lot of different opportunities coming in for you yeah i feel like you guys might be working in the public eye or you have a lot of support there's a lot of people that look up to you you have a lot of different talents or a lot of things that are going for you okay so let's see what else is coming in for you the Knight of Cups, it's like the angels are bringing you guys a gift here, okay? You're definitely being brought a gift, okay? It's going to be a new journey here, and I do feel like it's going to be something different than what you're used to. Um, you have two pages here, page of wands, page of swords, okay? So this is something you might want to get more information before you go ahead before you go ahead on this new journey, you guys might be studying, learning a new trade. Um, maybe you guys are planning on exploring. Okay. Maybe you guys are exploring all your options at the moment. Maybe you guys are making money in multiple different ways or trying to figure out how you guys can make money on the side. Right. But whatever it is that's coming in for you, you have a new brand new beginning. I feel like you got a couple different offers coming in. Seven of cups, page of wands, page of swords. You might have a lot of people who are interested in you and wanting to message you too as well because you might be standing out in the crowd. Okay. I feel like a lot of people are looking up to you. A lot of people are inspired by you. Okay. And with the knight of cups, it's like a lot of people might like want to like gift you things. Look, the ace of cups, you might have a lot of people who are interested in you, interested in your beauty, interested in your, um, what it is that you're doing. Okay. You have the King of Wands, the Ten of Wands, and the Star. I feel like you guys are following your plans to put down the burdens, all the things that are weighing you guys down. It's like you're no longer allowing that to be something that's holding you back. You're following through with your plans. You're aligning things in your life. You're putting things together. You're putting things in order. You're healing yourself. You're becoming more aware and more strong and more proud of yourself as well here. And because of that, you have the Six of Cups too as well. It's like you guys are sharing your gifts with the world, all right? You may also have somebody from the past coming back that's been watching you as well. It doesn't have to be, but it can be. I see Aquarius and Leo. You have the Eight of Pentacles and the Page of Cups. You got three pages. You might have three people who are interested in you that are kind of just sitting back on the sidelines waiting for a chance to uh, come through to you. Okay. I do with the six of swords. You guys are, you got three sixes, six, six, six. You guys might be dealing with like a lot of like struggles, but with six, 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 the sixes are, are after five and fives are about challenges and change. Six comes after that. It means you guys are overcoming all these challenges, overcoming all of this change that's been going on. It's not anything that's stopping you guys. You're still moving forward through whatever this is, right? And it's like, you guys know what your goal is. Maybe you guys don't know what's coming in the future, but you guys have a goal here and you guys have your mindset to something and you guys are determined right following through with your plans to make something out of this um king of cups and the five of cups you guys are trying to keep it together through a lot of the loss you guys might have lost a lot of things a lot of people a lot of things might be leaving your life at the moment and you guys might be really focused on the things that are going on that's like you're losing but remember that <clears throat> not everything stays forever and not everything is always going to be gone forever either so it's like you can always fill up that space like whatever space is empty you can always fill that up with something else or something better and it sucks because not everything is meant to stay in our lives but you know sometimes things you know it's like everything comes for a reason and a season you know things come into our life they have a job to do and when their job is done they're gone right so it's like we learn things we grow from it and then we move on into the next right so 
You guys might be feeling like you're moving on from something that you're missing out on an opportunity with. But believe me, if anything is meant for you, it'll find its way back to you. Your destiny, what's meant for you, does not forget you. Okay? So I feel like you guys have a lot of power, a lot of strength, and you guys are just moving forward. And you have a lot of good things coming in for you. Fame, success, overcoming struggles. Even if it's not fame or anything, it's like you guys are putting yourself out there anymore. No longer being stuck inside of a box. No longer being stuck, um, you know, in this... Uh, unfinished symphony right with the queen of swords and the queen of wands you guys are getting your strength back your power back you're you're becoming more brave standing your ground now king of wands queen of queen of wands and then the queen of swords too as well it's like you guys are able to see a clear path ahead of you guys now and it's like you now you're no longer worried that much about the future or what's going to come i feel like there's a little worry there but it's like not enough to hold you back it's like you're still taking those steps that you guys are being guided to take right um I'm going to post from some of these, from this Oracle deck. Remember all I was saying? It's like you guys changed overnight. Was it this reading? If it wasn't this reading, it was another one. But you have changed in the night. You have changed quickly. It's like something that you've went through, this unfinished symphony. It was like one day you just woke up and you were like, you know what? I don't want to keep on doing this. It's taking forever. It's not working. I just, you know, I got to do something about it. And it's like you had to change a heart. And it was just like, you know what? That's it. And I feel like this is the first step towards your healing. You have, you are rare and free. So when people come across you, you're different than other people. You get remembered, right? It's like. Um, there's not many people that are like you. I just said that earlier and you have becoming braver. Didn't I just say this? It's like you guys are growing stronger and you guys have a fresh perspective on life and it's no longer like thinking, well, you know what? I'm going to be stuck like this forever. It's like you guys are not even thinking that way anymore. It's like you're getting yourself out of the box and because you're doing that, you're going to be able to have so much more opportunities coming for you in the future. Look, changed in the night was meant to come out because it came out again. And it says law is not justice. Rules that are not fair. You're tired of things that are being unfair to you. And it's like, you're just like, you know what? If this isn't working out for me, this is not feeling balanced. And guess what? I am done with this and I'm going to go do something to where I feel like I can have a balanced life where I feel like I am free and I can make my own choices, right? The law is not justice. Rules are not fair. So it's like, you know what? I feel like you guys are not even worried about what it is that was holding you back in the past. It's just, you're just moving forward. It's like, I don't even see any blockages here. I just see forward movement. I see sadness, but I see moving forward right? But don't tell everybody what it is that you guys are doing, okay? Because they might try to stop you in your tracks and it might prolong your journey or might hinder your journey, okay? So keep on going where you guys are being called to go and you guys will be totally fine. The universe always has our back. They always have our best interest at heart. I did see 12-12. So, all right? So anyway, I hope this helps. I hope you guys have a great night. Toodles.